history occurred today in one of the most entertaining possible ways, in my opinion, it could have. For those who don't know, uh, which I don't know why you would know, I don't believe I've ever said it, I am a political science major, so I'm someone quite involved, at least in the mental aspect. Um, I don't actually participate in any, why well, you know, I vote, but I don't, like, directly participate in politics, if that makes sense. Um, but it's something I care a lot about. And then another thing I care a lot about is anime. And I've seen the most fascinating occurrence, and something I never thought would occur, between a mesh of U.S. politics and anime in the most fucking hilarious fashion possible, which is just so, so fucking bananas. So stupid. So good. And I'll, it's just, yeah. And this is what I'm talking about right here. The House votes to center GOP representative Gosar over violent video. So, I don't know if you guys ever saw the video on Twitter. There were there were a good amount of people that uh, retweeted it. I was one of them. Uh, definitely make sure to follow my Twitter. Uh, I'll have the link below in the description, as I always do. I tweet out dumb shit all the time. But yeah, it, I mean, people like the Anime Man, uh, I believe Gigook and Sea Dog VA, they all retweeted this talking about it. But it was basically a video of faces of U.S. representatives on the right imposed on the AOT characters within U.S. representatives, including, and also Joe Biden, imposed on Titans faces, fighting each other, as well as mixed in with videos of U.S. border immigration disputes. Which, when I first saw that video, I was just, it was, it was amazing. It was so stupid and so good. Because it, like... It is the definition of, like, Gen Z political bait, where they're like, hey, you know, young kids, get into politics with me, that kind of stuff. And I just found it hilarious. But we'll go ahead and, like, read over the article some. So, it says, The House voted on Wednesday to censor Representative Paul Gosar after the Arizona Republican posted a violent cartoon video that depicted him killing Representative Ale Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, uh, Democrat in New York, and attacking President Joe Biden. Which, I mean, yeah, that's exactly what it was, more or less. Um, and for those of you who don't know what being censored is, it is basically like public humiliation within the House of saying, like, we don't endorse anything this guy has to say. Um, and it's just a way of kind of ousting someone and trying to damage their political career. And to give you the idea on the severity of it, uh, in the history of the House, only 25, now 25, um representatives of the house have ever actually been censored with 10 senators or nine senators and also um president andrew jackson uh, being censored in the senate so it is not a common thing especially in like the modern era even less so it was mostly during the 1800s that you saw a lot of the censored in the first place so it's actually like an extremely big deal for someone to be censored but we'll continue reading. It says, The resolution was passed 223 to 207, which is two Republicans' representatives, uh, Liz Cheney of Wyoming and Adam Kinzinger of Illinois, joining all 221 Democrats voting in favor of Gosar censors. Um, yeah, it, this, the measure stripped Gosar of his committee assignments, including a seat on the House Oversight Committee, a panel in which he served alongside Ocasio-Cortez, which, for anyone that doesn't know American politics... Uh, within the like the house, your committee assignments are a major part of what you're gonna be able to get done within the house. Like it's a big deal. It, it they kind of determine what you have overreach over outside of the normal stuff and kind of like a specialty. And that's where most of the bills that will then go on to get uh, put in kind of come from. So it's a big deal having him removed from uh, his committees because that severely reduces his like political overreach within the house and it will severely hurt his career. So yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and have, like, um, an over of, like, the video playing so you can kind of see what it is. I'm not going to play the whole video, but kind of just the key parts. Um, but it is, I, it, I mean, it's obviously not his idea. There's no way it's his idea. Just because, like, that's not something that he would think of. It's clearly just a situation of one of his uh, workers, his staff, came up with this idea. He greenlighted it because, you know, he saw the potential of gaining young voters. And it backfired terribly. I mean, it's just, it's funny to me that this guy's probably going to have his career ruined by the, like, most obvious Gen Z bait possible. Because, I mean, it makes sense, in all fairness, 
Because, uh, fun fact, it is illegal uh, in the United States of America to say that you are going to kill the President of the United States. So a video, even if it's of a cartoon character, depicting, depicting you attacking the President of the United States is a major deal. Because it's essentially saying that you have the intent of harming the President of the United States. Which, again, as I've said, was illegal. Now, of course, Gosar uh, defended this, and he also did not at all apologize. Um, he basically said that it was entirely symbolical. It was not meant to be anything literal. He's not making any threats or saying that he's going to kill anyone. Uh, it was just to be a, a quote, a symbolic portrayal of a fight over immigration policy that was backlash, or and then, end quote on the policy, and then it was backlash was infantile, quote. And he said, quote, it is not real life. So it's one of those things where I just, I never thought I'd see a day where U.S. politics and anime merged in, and I, especially, I never saw it merging in such a fucking stupid way specifically. And it's just beautiful. That's all I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, bye.